Greetings. Hi, Bob. How are you? How are you doing? How's it going? What's new? Good morning, Mr. Gray. Fine, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. Okay. Not much. It's been a while. Long time no see. How have you been? Good to see you. Nice to see you again. Have you met each other? I'd like you to meet my friend John. Mickey, this is my wife Kate. John, this is Mary. Mary, John. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. How do you do, Mr. White? Dialogue. Hi, Bob. I'm glad you could come. Good to see you, Jane. It's been a while. Yes, it has. How have you been? Fine, thanks. And you? Pretty good. Oh, Bob, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Rita Brown. Nice to meet you, Rita. Nice to meet you too. Bob is an artist. Oh, really? Yes, I'm a painter. How interesting. What do you do? I work at an insurance company. Goodbyes. I'm afraid I have to be leaving now. I think I should be going. Well, I gotta go. It's been nice talking with you. It was nice meeting you. Let's get together again soon. We'll have to get together sometime. Write me sometime, okay? You'll stay in touch, won't you? Keep in touch. I'll miss you. Goodbye. See you. Have a nice weekend. Have a good day. Good luck. Take care. Take it easy. Please give my best regards to your mother. Please say hello to John for me. Dialogue. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I have to go now. Oh, really? So soon? Yeah, I have to get up early tomorrow. That's too bad. But I had a wonderful time. I'm glad. Let's get together again soon, okay? Sure. Bye, Cindy. Goodbye. It was very nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you too. I hope to see you again sometime. Me too. Well, bye, everyone. Thanks again, Alan.
Thanks for coming, Cindy. Take care. On the telephone. Hello, is Tony in? Hello, is Tony there? Who's calling? Who's this, please? This is Sam Clayton. Just a second. Can you hold on a minute? Speaking. This is he. No, he's out right now. Could you call him back later? Can he call you back? Can I take a message? Would you tell him Sam called? Would you have him call Sam when he gets back? I think you have the wrong number. Isn't this one one three four five four five? No, it isn't. Yes, but there's no Tony living here. I see. I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me. No problem. That's okay. Dialogue. Hello. Hi. Is Tony there? I think you had the wrong number. Oh, really? Isn't this one one seven o o five five? No, it isn't. Oh, sorry to bother you. That's okay. Hello. Hello, Sarah. Yes. This is Robert. Oh, hi, Robert. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Good. Is Tony there? Yes. Just a minute. Hello. Hi, Tony. It's Robert. How are you doing? Not too bad. And you? Invitations. Would you like to go out on a date with me? What do you say to going out to lunch? Do you want to go to the movies or something? How about dinner? What about going bowling? Why don't we have lunch? Let's go shopping. I'm having a party Saturday night. If you'd like to come, you should come over for dinner. Are you free on Friday night? Sure. Why not? I'd be glad to. Sounds good to me. That's fine with me. All right. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. Let me think about it. 
Let me check my schedule. Can I sleep on it? Thanks, but I don't think I can. I'm afraid I can't. I'd like to, but... Let's make it some other time, okay? What? Are you kidding? Dialogue Hi, Linda. Hi, how are you? Great. Listen, are you free on Saturday night? Saturday night? Uh, let me check my schedule. I was wondering if... Oh, sorry, I'm busy on Saturday night. Oh, no. Is it very important? Well, sort of. It's a class party. Couldn't you skip it? I'm afraid not. Ah, uh, too bad. Maybe some other time, okay? Okay. It's just that I have two tickets to the Sting concert and... The Sting concert? Hey, I made a mistake. That party is next Saturday. I'd love to go. Excuses. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Sorry I'm late. I got stuck in traffic. The train was delayed because of an accident. My alarm didn't go off. I misunderstood. I thought you said 10 o'clock. I was feeling sick. There was an emergency in my family. The meeting didn't end on schedule. I couldn't find the place. I went to Shinjuku instead. That's okay. Never mind. What's the matter? What happened? This is the third time in a row. You're always late. You should be sorry. Dialogue. I'm sorry I'm late. You should be sorry. Oh, come on. I'm not that late. But this is the third time in a row. But I have a very good reason. Okay. What is it this time? The train was delayed because of an accident. Oh, that's the oldest one in the book. It's true. Prove it. All right. Let's go to the station master's office. Okay, okay. I believe you. You shouldn't doubt me so much. Right. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Apologies. How could you say a thing like that? How could you be so careless? What did you do that for? What's the big idea? You're trying to make a fool of me. I'm not a child. It was stupid of you. That's it. Cut it out. 
Give me a break. Who do you think you are? Suit yourself. See if I care. Leave me alone. I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean that. Excuse me. Will you accept my apology? I really do apologize. Please forgive me. Just relax. What are you getting so angry about? You know you're acting like a child. Come on, don't be silly. Dialogue. Oh no! You spilled wine on my dress. I'm terribly sorry. Forgive me. But this dress is silk. It's ruined. I really do apologize. How could you be so careless? Look, I'm sorry. I'll buy you a new dress. But there's not another one like this. What can I say? There's nothing to say. It was stupid of you. You know you're acting like a child. I am not. I really love this dress. Well, where did you get it? Uh, actually, at a second-hand store. Hmm. How much did it cost? Well, about twelve dollars. Oh, then I really am sorry. Why? You'll never find such a great buy again. Giving good news. Guess what? I've got some great news. Something wonderful happened. Hey, did you hear? I met a really nice guy. I'm going out with Jane. I'm in love. We're engaged. Tom and I are getting married. I'm getting transferred to New York. I just got a raise. I got promoted. My wife is going to have a baby. It's our anniversary today. I got into Harvard. I won the lottery. Today is my birthday. I did it. Really? Congratulations. Good for you. That's great. You must be really happy. I'm glad to hear it. Dialogue. Guess what? What? I'm getting transferred to New York. New York? That's fantastic. I just found out this morning. Wow! 
You must be pretty excited. I can hardly believe it. I'm really happy for you. Thanks. But I'll miss you. Well, maybe you could come visit me sometime. How about August? Talking about people. He is really nice. She is very reliable. He is mature. She is caring. He is funny. She has a good sense of humor. He is really smart. She is honest. He is modest. She is selfish. He is conceited. She is rude. He only talks about himself. She is boring. He is really mean. She is cold. He is a jerk. She is stupid. He is ignorant. She is shy. He is outgoing. She is stubborn. He is aggressive. She is businesslike. He is easygoing. She is beautiful. He is handsome. She is attractive. He is really good looking. She is unattractive. He is ugly. She is too skinny. He is too fat. Dialogue. Have you met Joe's girlfriend? Yeah, she's beautiful, isn't she? I guess so. You guess so. She has perfect features and a perfect figure. And a perfectly empty head. Oh, you think she's stupid? She's one of the dumbest people I've ever met. Really? I didn't notice. She can't put a sentence together. I thought she was just shy. And she's incredibly ignorant. I thought she was just modest. And she's going out with Joe. Yeah, I see what you mean. Saying what's wrong. I have a headache. I have a toothache. I have a sore throat. My tonsils are swollen. I have a runny nose. 
I have a stuffy nose. I've been sneezing. I have a cough. I feel dizzy. I have a fever. I feel nauseous. I have a ringing in my ears. I have a stomach ache. I have an upset stomach. I have diarrhea. I'm constipated. I have a backache. I twisted my ankle. I broke my arm. I burned my hand. I cut my finger. Dialogue. Excuse me. Yes? What can I do for you? I'd like some medicine. Hmm. What kind of medicine? Well, I'm not sure. My throat hurts. Sore throat. Well, you might try... And I feel nauseous. Nausea. Let's see. And I'm dizzy. Oh? I think I have a fever. I see. Any other symptoms? Yes, I have a ringing in my ears. Really? And blurry vision and abdominal pains. Hmm. Which side? The left. Maybe it's my appendix. Mm, that's on the right. Do you think mine could be on the wrong side? Not likely. Here, sir. I've got just the thing for you. A mystery novel? Good for the imagination, which is where your illness is. Going to a show. Are there any tickets left for the show on Friday evening? I'd like two tickets for tonight's performance. Is this a good seat? I'd like to be in the middle. Is it open seating? Where are the $35 seats? How much are tickets for cats? How much is the least expensive ticket? How much is the most expensive ticket? What are the show times for the musical Hair? On what days is Bon Jovi playing at the Greek theater? When is the next showing which tickets are available for? What time does the next show start? What time do the doors open? Do I have to dress up for the opera? Is this seat taken? Can you save this seat for me? Excuse me, I think this is my seat. Is there some place to get a snack around here? Is it all right to bring food into the theater? Dialogue. I'd like a ticket for the 8.30 show. All right, that will be $6. Is this a good seat? I'd like to be in the middle. It's open seating, sir. I see. Well, what time do the doors open? 
Doors open at 8 o'clock. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Excuse me, is this seat taken? No, I don't think so. At a restaurant. Just me. Two more will be joining us. Could we have a table in the corner? Could we have a table by the window? Non-smoking, please. May I see a menu? What is the special of the day? What do you recommend? What is that? I'd like something light. I'd like a small portion. Does that come with a salad? I'll have the pork chops. Can I have the check, please? Would you make that separate checks? I included the tip on the credit card slip. I can't finish, but it was delicious. No more, thank you. The meal was very good. Could you put this in a doggy bag? Dialogue how many? Just two of us. Smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking. Right this way. Could we get a table by the window? Certainly. Here you are. I'll be back in a moment to take your order. Have you decided what you want? Not really. What is the special of the day? Steak tartare. What is that? Raw ground beef, specially prepared with an egg and steak sauce. That sounds good. I'll have that. I'll have the pork chops. Okay. Arranging a meeting. When is a good time for you? What time should we meet? How about 10 o'clock in the morning? Any time after 5. It's up to you. Let's make it 6. That's too early for me. Where shall we meet? What about the Century Plaza? I'm not sure where that is. I'll pick you up at 7. I'll pick you up at your house. Pick me up at 7. Pick me up at my house. If something comes up, give me a call. If you have trouble finding the house, call me. If you can't make it, give me a call. That's fine with me. Sounds good to me. 
Okay. Dialogue. Would you like to get together for dinner tonight? Oh, I can't tonight. I'm busy. Well, are you free any time this week? How about Wednesday night? Okay, fine. About seven o'clock? Sounds good. Where shall we meet? What about the Mexican restaurant on Fifth Street? I'm not sure where that is. Oh, well, I could meet you at your office, and we could go from there. That would be great. See you Wednesday at seven, then. Bye. Giving bad news. What's the matter? What's wrong? I'm such an idiot. What am I gonna do? Leave me alone. I really screwed up. I got fired. Tom and I broke up. We're getting a divorce. Someone stole all of my money. My grandmother passed away. I failed the exam. I didn't get the job. You're kidding! I can't believe it. I'm sorry to hear that. That's too bad. Oh no! That's disgusting. That's terrible. It's not the end of the world. That's the way it goes. Everything will be all right. Don't think so negatively. Hang in there. Dialogue. What's the matter? We had an art show, and I dropped one of the artist's pieces. Oh, that's too bad. It's also expensive. Two thousand dollars. Don't be upset. I'm sure the insurance will pay for it. The company didn't take out insurance this time. You're kidding. No, but my boss says he'll pay for it. See, everything will be all right. But he'll probably never let me work at an art show again. Oh, don't think so negatively. Giving directions, part one. Take the Ginza line one stop to Ginza, and then change to the Hibiya line. Take the Hibiya line all the way to Rapongi. Take the train from track ten, go two stops, and get off at Harajuku. Take the Yamanori Line train, leaving from Track Ten to Yoyogi. Take the Tokyo-bound train three stops. 
take the train bound for Inoshima and get off at the fourth stop. It should be about five stops. Follow Highway 1 and exit at Yokohama. Go two blocks and make a right. Our building will be on the left-hand side. It takes about 20 minutes. Let's see. Are you with me? I see. I got it. I didn't get that. I don't quite understand. I beg your pardon? What? Dialogue Can you tell me the fastest way to get to your office from downtown? Let's see. Follow Highway 405 and exit before it turns into the 101. Okay. You'll turn left at the end of the off-ramp. Okay. Then go three blocks and make a right. Uh-huh. Then you'll go underneath a highway overpass and make a left. What? A highway what? Overpass. It's like a bridge. Okay. And then make a left? Right. Our building will be on the left-hand side. Okay.